Hi guys, welcome to Collector Showcase. I'm Shannon. This is our new show we're going to be doing uh, on Come Again TV. Um, and basically, right now, I'm going to be going over uh, my comic book collection as well as my uh, graphic novel and trade paperback collection. I've been collecting comics on and off since oh, since I was probably 10 years old, maybe younger. I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. But I started out with. Uh, watching the cartoons every Saturday morning, uh, and gradually I worked my way up to uh, comic books. Uh, I used to have a lot more comics than this. Over the time, I've either sold them or gotten rid of them by other means. So this is my collection so far. Uh, let's go over the graphic novels and trade paperback. Here's one of my recent editions, Todd McFarlane's Spawn Resurrection. This is from 2015. Uh, it's a fairly recent story. I did a review on it uh, on the last episode of Comic Again, actually. I really liked it. I'm starting to get back into Spawn comics now. I also just got Spawn Volume 2 and Spawn Volume 3, the trade paperbacks. And uh, I'm waiting to I'm waiting to get my uh, Volume 1 in the mail. It's uh, it's coming from the UK, though. And a lot of these I haven't even read yet. I just haven't had time. Eventually I plan on reading them all, sitting down for a week or a month or whatever in the off season and uh, just reading them all back to back. This is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight Halloween special. Uh, Batman Madness. This is from 94. Justice League The Trinity War. This is from the New 52. We've got Batman New 52 Volume 6 The Graveyard Shift. This was done by Scott Snyder and Greg Capullo. We've got New 52 Action Comics Volume 2 Bulletproof from uh, Grant Morrison and Rags Morales. We've got Daredevil and the Punisher Child's Play by Frank Miller and Klaus Janssen. This came out back in 1988. We've got Batman Punisher by O'Neill Kitson and Pasco. As you can see, that's the uh, Jean-Claude Valley, John Paul Valley, I'm sorry, Batman with Frank Castle. These two got along a lot better than Bruce Wayne and Frank Castle ever did because John Paul Valley is not against killing criminals by any means. This came out back in 94. It's a crossover comic between DC and Marvel. Here's another Batman Punisher by Dixon, Romita Jr. and Jansen. Another Marvel DC crossover. This time it's with Bruce Wayne and Frank Castle uh, and they fight each other because you know Castle isn't opposed to killing criminals but Bruce Wayne is. We've got Batman the Occult, Starlin, Wrightson and Ray. I actually haven't read this one yet. Uh, let's see. Copyright 1991. We've got Batman Ten Nights of the Beast. I believe in this, um, I think this is where Batman kills KG Beast uh, by locking him in locking him in a uh, solitary confinement. Yep, right there. Locking him in solitary confinement with no means of escape, basically starving him to death. Big deal in the comic book industry. Uh, from Starlin, Paro, and DiCarlo. And this came out back in 1994. Batman The Last Angel by Eric Lustbader, Lee Motor, and Scott Hanna. Once again, this is another one of those that I haven't read yet. Came out back in 94 as well. Batman 89 movie special, comic edition, by Dennis O'Neill, Jerry Ordway, and Steve Orloff. Uh, that's number one. And then we've got Batman Returns, the official comic by Dennis O'Neill, Steve Irwin, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez with Tom McGraw. We've got Batman, Sword of Azrael, uh, with Certificate of Authenticity, uh, Certificate number 2427. I believe this was the introduction of John Paul Valley as Azrael. I did open it, but I haven't read it yet. I broke the seal on it basically, but still got the Certificate of Authenticity, and it's still in near mint condition. So, Walking Dead trade paperbacks. Currently, I've got volumes 17 through 25. Pretty much the entire course of the Saviors storyline, starting with Negan, which is where we're at in the TV show right now. Uh, Negan was just introduced, and it goes all the way up till right before the Whisperer War, the Batman DC Comics character encyclopedia. Got this from a uh, book fair at my daughter's, my kid's school. Basically just got all of uh, Superman's, al or I mean Batman's allies and enemies and acquaintances. A little brief description on each of them. Pretty cool. Green Lantern, Circle of Fire. I did a review on this a few months back on Comic-In. This came out back in 2000. Green Lantern Rebirth. 
which is the return of Hal Jordan as Green Lantern, from Jeff Johns, Ethan Van Skyver, Prentice Rollins. Introduction was by novelist Brad Meltzer, and that came out in 2004, and it eventually led into the Sinestro Core War from Jeff Johns, Dave Gibbons, Ivan Reyes, Patrick Gleason, Ethan Van Skyver. That's Sinestro Core of War Volume 1. Then we've got Prelude to the Blackest Night, Agent Orange from Philip Tan and Jonathan Glapion and Jeff Johns. I want to say 2009, Revenge of the Green Lanterns by Jeff Johns, Carlos Pacheco, Ethan Van Skyver, and Ivan Reyes. I believe this is the one where former Green Lanterns who are still uh, who still bear ill will against Hal Jordan for uh, slaughtering the Green Lantern Corps during the Emerald Twilight? Uh, kind of take them on head on. Uh, this came out came out in 2006. Then we've got Rage of the Red Lanterns: a Prelude to Blackest Night by Jeff Johns, Ivan Reyes, Mike McCone, and Shane Davis. I think this also came out in 2009. This was pretty much the introduction to the Red Lanterns. For those of you who aren't familiar with the Red Lanterns, um, the Manhunters preceded the Green Lantern Corps. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy created the Manhunters uh, to protect the galaxy. And through a glitch in their programming, they wiped out an entire sector of the galaxy, Sector 666, which included Atrocitus, the leader of the Red Lantern's home planet, which I believe he was away at at that time but he saw it unfold and through his rage he was able to develop the red lantern another prelude to the blackest night is emerald eclipse green lantern Corps. i believe it's also a 2009 series uh peter j tomasi patrick gleason rebecca bushman then we've got the new 52 green lantern volume one uh, with sinestro back as a Green Lantern, starring, uh, by Jeff Johns and Doug Monke. This was the uh, first of the uh, New 52 DC after they did the relaunch after Flashpoint. Then we've got DC Showcase Green Lantern. This is from the Silver Age of Green Lantern comics, all of Hal Jordan's early adventures. I am I'm a big fan of King Arthur, so I saw this at that book fair as well. Excalibur, The Legend of King Arthur, graphic novel by Tony Lee and Sam Hart. Star Wars Dark Empire from Dark Horse Comics. We've got Batman The Killing Joke, which just came out. This is first edition, first printing, as John likes to point out. We've got Batman Venom, which I've also reviewed on Come Again. This is where Bruce Wayne becomes addicted to the drug Venom, which gives Bane his strength. We've got Marvel Comics The Spirits of Venom. Basically, Venom has returned and he's on the hunt for Spider-Man. But he's joined by, uh, he kind of somewhat partners with Ghost Rider, who also partners with Spider-Man. Uh, this came out back in 92. We got The Phantom Man-Eaters by Moonstone. Back in 2006, Death of Superman, Batman Superman The New 52. Uh, Volume 2 Game Over by Greg Pak, Brett Booth, and Jay Lee. Superman Wonder Woman from The New 52, Volume 1 Power Couple. For those of you who don't know, when The New 52... Uh, came about in DC Comics after Flashpoint. Uh, Clark Kent and Lois Lane were no more. Now Superman and Wonder Woman were a, a couple. And this was by Charles Sewell and uh, Tony S. Daniel. A great graphic novel that I'm going to be reviewing in a uh, coming episode of Comageddon. Batman Noel by Lee Romejo. And then by the same person, same art style and everything, also by Brian Azzarello, The Joker. Graphic now. We're gonna switch gears in it here now. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna come back and we're gonna go over my comic book collection.